Hello and welcome to the video walk around of the 2013-63 Land Rover Discovery 4 3 litre diesel HSE Luxury for sale at Russell Jennings of Morpeth. My name's Russell and I'll be taking you around the, ve around the vehicle showing you some of the key points and features on what is a very very high specification vehicle. It's got 20 inch black and polished 5 spoke alloy wheels, side steps, privacy glass extended roof rails in black it's got the lovely black and silver grille front rear park distance control it's got surround cameras it's got full satellite navigation it's got rear entertainment this is a very very high specification vehicle nice HSE luxury badging on the back looks great in black it's got park distance control there we can open the tailgate here, it's seven seat configuration, so you've got a big family, this is the car for you. Excellent four wheel drive capabilities, as you can see from here, the parcel shelf's all intact. These seats simply fold up from the rear of the car and give three third row seating. If we just take a little look up the top here, we've got three sunroofs, fantastic. That's a lot of light inside the vehicle and looks fantastic. I'm going to shut the tailgate down now. This is a two-owner vehicle, originally by Jaguar Land Rover Management Services and then a, a private owner. It's got keyless entry and exit, so we can, if I've got the key in my pocket, I can lock the car by pressing the button here. It's got powerful door mirrors. Look at that interior, it's a lovely black, high-quality leather interior. Nice silver side vents there, and the wheels are tip-top. They're actually off the landmark edition, I believe. Heated front screen as well that clean engine bay, bay there I expect that with our cars now so all in good order now I'm going to do this in a little bit of a different order this time so I want to show you some of the uh, features in the rear of the car because that rear entertainment's factory fit and it's brilliant those eagle eye of us here we'll see there's a camera under there it has cameras in the rear which is standard stuff and even at the front there so you can see either side of the number plate again if you'd like to check this car out in more detail for watching on YouTube it's on our website www.russelljennings.co.uk Then again there's the extended roof rails there if you want to put bigger roof boxes on etc you can do it's covered 46,127 miles it's got automatic lights which are xenon it's got the lovely piano black grand lacquer door fascias memory seats memory settings for the electric driver's seat Harman Kardon Logic 7 stereo this really is the ultimate discovery and you've got powerful door mirrors here and electric windows there as well. Multifunction steering wheel with paddle shift gear change. It's got the selector comes up from the gear selector comes up from the center console with electronic handbrake. And again, look at this. Look at the quality of the leather. It's lovely. It's non-smoker interior. It's got lumbar support on the seat. There's no great wear to the sides of the seat either. And the nice light head lining. Each of those sunroofs as well as a blind that goes over. If you're getting a bit of glare and it comes with two keys but also it's got the preheating remote control as well so you can warm the car up remotely from the uh, from your living room window um, and have it nice and warm for when you get in the car in the winter so what I'm going to do is we're going to come back to the front in a second I'm just going to start the car just doing this free setup here now let's take a look inside right see if I can capture all this here we've got three seat belts across the back, isofix anchor points in the, the outer seats and we've got heated elements in the outer seats in the rear as well. So you can see here, there's one of the rear screens and I'm going to focus on the one in front of me here. Right, so if you look here, here's the remote control. So simply from here, I'm going to press this one and I'm going to power it on, there we go. So let's take a look at this. It's got TV, look at that, we're watching the TV sitting in the back of the car, it's crazy. And each side has um, headphones that go with it, so you can tune these in if you just have a quick look. Both sides have them. Tune your headphones in. Now other things, if I then press DVD, there we go. There we go. Give it a second to load. There we go. 
and it'll play a DVD from the back as well. So I could, for instance, if we had two kids, one could be watching the DVD, the other could be watching um, TV there. You can put music on your USB stick and play it through there as well. If they want to listen to a particular music, you can do that from here as well. It's got DAB radio as well. So we can have that playing through the headphones here so you don't have to listen to what the kids are. It's just saying no reception, it's a bad area more, but that works, I'm sure you get the gist of how it works. But that system is absolutely brilliant, particularly if you've got kids. I think it's fantastic. I'm just gonna shut the, uh, the far one down as well, but cracking system there. So finish with that there, power that down, and let's move back to the front of the car. So, back to the front of the car. Right, so, back to the front, we mentioned before, 46.127 on the miles. Auto dimming rear view mirror, it's also got the garage door openers on there as well, or gates you can put them to, can connect them to. Audio video, I know we've discussed a little bit in the back, it's got DAB as well as normal FM. You've got your rear mediator control here, it's got television, and it's also got, let's see if we can go through this here. The, oh, one DVD there. Um, and you can go from there, digital TV, DVD or USB there. My Music, again, one of my favorite features on the car. You've got a hard drive to store up to 10 CDs. Bluetooth, we can stream our music. I've got Amazon Prime Music and iTunes on my phone. I can make phone calls from the car, hands-free, but also I can stream my music through, which I think is fantastic and easy to use. We've got the navigation system. Again, very, very easy to use. All postcode operated, nice color screen. It's just calculating before can cancel that there. 3D, 2D, points of interest, does the lot. So we've got that there. Again, the phone and extra features, the cameras. Now the time climate is what I discussed earlier with the, you've got the remote that started off or we can set it to say eight o'clock in the morning to have the car nice and warm for you getting in the winter. And again, the cameras, look at this. You've got surround cameras. So we've got the normal reversing camera which we can click the vehicle into reverse and brings the guidelines. But we've also got the surround cameras which can help when when you're, re there's a tow assist, special views, proximity view, very, very good. Uh, from there, we can enlarge each one. So if you were maybe re driving past something that's tight, you can see exactly where the marks are or where the obstacle would hit. Very, very good and easy to use. So other things that it does, I love the analog clock on here, just breaks up the digital electronic screens on there. And then you've got your shortcuts to your different menus, heated front seats, and we've got the climate control there as well. And to the bottom, you've got your adjustable height on the suspension. You've also got your terrain response. So when it snows, we can go grass, gravel, snow, does enhance the drive of the car dramatically, mud, ruts, etc. cetera, depending how hardcore you are and how off-road you're gonna go. 12 volt outputs out either side there and your gear selector here. Reverse neutral drive, sports mode there, and we've, don't forget we've got our paddle shift gear change as well. Two cup holders, electronic handbrake. Let's take a look in here. Um, in there you've got USB connections, iPod, and storage under there as well. So it comes with a full handbook pack as well as two keys as we've mentioned. Service history on the vehicle, it's been serviced at 24 miles, which was Lucas Land Rover, that would be their PDI or pre-delivery inspection. Then Grange Land Rover Barnet at 23793. In fact, apologies, I do apologise, that's the incorrect one. I'm looking at the wrong car here. Um, let me see, sorry, ignore that part of the video. We have servicing there at 34597 at the servicing stop and again at 41086. And prior to that, you have the 14,300 miles at Solihull and 23485. Apologies for that. I've got a few range, a uh, few discoveries in stock, and that's for the blue one there. I do apologise. So let's. There's also some servicing stuff, um, service check sheets to add to that history with it. So all very very good. You've got split glove box there. One of the things this. I'll tell you about this when you uh, pick the car up. This is how if it ever you find the pump hard to fuel the car and it clicks off, that's how you fix that. So that's in every Land Rover. Someone showed me that, so I'm gonna spread the word. But I'm sure you'll agree, this is a lovely clean car. Um, Non-smoker inside, I must stress. Very clean and tidy and a very, very high specification. Got some great funding options up to five years higher purchase. 
or we've got lease purchase PCP options and part exchange is most welcome. So if you're driving a Disco 4, a Range Rover Sport, anything you want to upgrade, give me a shout. My name's Russell. I'll be happy to help with that. So thanks for watching the video. Hope you found it informative and we look forward to seeing you soon. Bye for now.